here we are, just a little over halfway through uh, 2021. As we reflect over the first half of this year, how have things gone for you? What are the joys and victories and celebrations? Or have there been moments of, of difficulty and, and struggle? As many of you may have done at the beginning of this year, there are those who make New Year's resolutions. And if that's you, how's that going for you? If it's still going well, then congratulations, because a lot of resolutions fall by the wayside fairly early uh, on after they've been established. But as I think about that, I'm reminded of a man named G.D. Boardman, who once said that, so an act, you reap a habit. So a habit, you reap a character. So a character, and you reap a destiny. Now the point of many New Year's resolutions, especially coming out of 2020, are for new healthy habits to replace old negative ones. The resolutions you made were probably uh, to get in better shape or to take better care of, of your body in some way. But maybe there were some resolutions you made to cultivate better spiritual practices and habits that can turn into something greater in your life. This week in my devotional time, I once again came across the story in uh, Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. This is the story of Jesus meeting Martha and Mary. Now, this piece of scripture is most famous for Martha questioning Jesus about Mary leaving her to do all the work. And then Jesus responding that Mary has, in fact, done the better thing in choosing to sit at Jesus' feet. But there's something else that stuck out to me uh, at the beginning of that section of Scripture. It's in verse 38 when Jesus first meets Martha and she, quote, opens her home to him. In other words, she opened her life to him and, and he entered. But in doing so, she invited him into a deeper part of her life and opened herself up to the challenging work of Jesus. In the end, though, it was to her benefit because she learned the importance of replacing one habit with another better one. Now, as we begin this second half of 2021, I'd invite you to consider a few things. First of all, what part of your life might Jesus want you to open up to him, just like Martha opened her home? Is there anything distracting us from fully being in Jesus' presence? And then thirdly, what does Jesus want from you? Is it to go and do, or is it to just sit and listen? I'd encourage you to, to take some time over this next week to, to work on this and to, to consider what Jesus might want from us. But I hope you all are doing well. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. But if there is anything at all that you need, please don't hesitate to let us know. And I look forward to worshiping with you all on Sunday morning, either on site or online, beginning at 830. Have a great rest of the day, and God bless.